Highly variable amounts of rain both this morning and even with this afternoon spotty thunder showers right underneath the thunder shower. It's a gully washer fast falling rain causing some localized flooding in that portion of Moorhead. Uh, 31 hundredths for the entire day measured in another part of North Moorhead and Mike Morgan about seven tenths of an inch in parts of South Fargo. And that's not even counting what's fallen yet today or this afternoon. Hey, I'm really excited about this. There's some sunshine out there in the Devil's Lake Basin and that's not a bad thing, but you know what's even better than that? It is Weather Kid Day, and joining me uh, now is Autumn. Autumn, step on out here. You're from the Ada Borup area, and tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you, young lady? I'm 13. 13, and what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth grade was one of my my funnest grades. Uh, favorite subject? Um, math. Math, great. Anybody you want to say hi to before um, we get started? My um, grandma, hi. Okay, very good. Anyone else? Uh, um, a teacher. Sure. Um, Miss Pearson, hi, if you're watching this. Very good. All right, well, I'll tell you what, what do you think about this weather that we're having here so far this fall? Are you a hot weather fan or you prefer it cooling down? I like it cool. Cool? Okay, let's tell everybody what's going on out at Fargo's Hector International right now. Explain the current weather conditions. Uh, it's, um, the wind is calm. Good. Um, 69. Mm -hmm. Oh, 70. Ooh, we just had an update. How about that? <laughs> wow. Live on TV. Oh, that's fun. Weather's always changing around here. Yeah, I'll say. All right. How about at Moorhead's Airport? What uh, do you see there? Six, 73, I mean. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Very good. Now, tell us a little bit about the weather across eastern North Dakota. Pick out a town or two and um, tell them the temperature. Devil, Devil's Lake is 70. Okay, very good. Um, Grand Forks is set, um, 76. Look at that. Warmer in Grand Forks and Jamestown, a little bit of a cool pool there. Let's do that weather two step we've been working on. Two steps and there a mosey go. this way. Good work, man. <laughs> All right, now how about out to the east? It looks a little warmer. Point out a couple of temperatures there. Um, Detroit Lakes. Did I say that right? You did it perfect. Yes. Perfect. Um, 79. Good. How about Bemidji? Oh, Bemidji, um, 80. So in our far eastern counties, it's warmer than out to the west tonight. And as we look at this satellite and radar, can you remind folks at home what this white stuff is? Um, that's um, crowds. Whew. Okay, it's not snow, not yet. But oh. in fact, we do have some green stuff on the screen. What's the green show? Um, rain. Okay, so here's Fargo. Point out some areas that are seeing some sprinkles of rain right now or heavier showers. Um, ooh. You got this. The rain is the green stuff, so we've got an area of, of rain. What towns are these moving through right um, now? Hallwood. Ha, Very good. Ooh. Moving right up Highway 75 to the north towards Borup, right? Mm -hmm. And then just south of Fargo, there's a shower moving into Moorhead right now. Now, taking you up a little bit closer to home. You go to school where? Ada. Ada. Tell everybody in Ada what's going on. Um, um, have um, a little chance of rain. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's, it is raining. I yeah, mean. and it's pretty heavy, particularly as you go west yeah. on Highway 200 towards Hendrum. So this area between Ada and Hendrum getting a good sidewalk soaking shower and even a rumble of thunder showing up there. Mm -hmm. As we take a look at the bigger picture, this goes all the way up to the Lake of the Woods. Look at that skinny little <laughs> batch of rain. You know, most of the area not getting much rain at all. No. Now, how about down near uh, this area? What do you see? Um, uh, on thunderstorms. Good. Thunderstorms, Battle Lake, Fergus Falls. You're about to get one in the Fergus Falls area in a few moments with some rumbles of thunder. Here's your forecast as we head through the evening. Why don't you tell folks as we pause this at 10 what happens to the rain? Where will it be the heaviest? Uh, Little Falls. Oh, over yeah. There. Yeah, way over here. Sometimes you have to reach real far <laughs> down yeah. there to get to that, but that's where it is. It's going to be kind of out of our viewing area in the eastern counties, but towards morning, what does it look like for your friends out across the region? Uh, cloudy. Cloudy for everybody. <laughs> Temperatures near what? Uh, 60. 60 for many. Maybe a little cooler up north. We could have some patchy fog and sprinkle chances increase as we go through the day. And I clicked right through that real quickly. So <laughs> there's, there's that morning forecast with the clouds and showers. Let's see what happens by the afternoon. Now, temperatures don't get too warm tomorrow. We're going to have a north wind. What about the rain? Does it look heavier? Uh, oh, mm, a little. Yeah. Now, if you're up in the far north, not much of a rain chance at all tomorrow, just a low rain chance, but it lasts all day in the Southern Valley with periods of light showers and then maybe even heavy showers through your Friday night football plans. How about at eight at night? Does it still look wet? Uh, yeah, it sure does. So some of us could get another healthy one inch of rain on our Friday. Here's your bus stop forecast. Tell your Ada Borup friends what they can expect in the um, morning. 56 showers. Very good. How about after school? Does it look drier? Um, 
I don't think so. Nope. It's <laughs> chance of rain continues. Temperatures near 65 to 70 degrees. The warmest weather will be up north where they will have a lower chance of rain. Look at this beautiful photo shared by Mandy and Kevin in the Pelican Lakes area. Do you like the fall colors? Oh, yeah. Are you the chief leaf raker of the um, family? I think so. Oh, you think so? Okay, <laughs> let's step over here and tell everybody what that weekend forecast looks like as we go through Saturday and Sunday. Oh, 74 and 65. Very good. Awesome. And then next week, we really warm things up. What is your favorite day of the week weather-wise? What I looks like the best to you, Autumn? Wednesday. Very good. Autumn, follow me over here. We're going to go stand over by Mike. I got to tell you, you did an outstanding job. You made Hutch's job look very easy. <laughs> As we uh, go toward the weekend, it looks very nice, too. So a wet Friday, and after that, well, it looks a little better. If you would like to be a weather kid, join me uh, on camera. Sign up at Luther Family Forward or go to valleynewslive.com and click on the contest tab. So how was that? What do you think? Easy, hard? Mm, pretty medium. Pretty medium. You See? know that weather two-step, you know, where you did that? Mm -hmm. It took Hutch 16 years to get that done. I yeah. kept tripping. <laughs> yeah. So nice job.